So, brothers and sisters, it's a, it's a point of that a man will die once, and after that is judgment. One day, at some point in, during your life, you're gonna you're gonna be the next person to die, and after that, your soul will separate from your body and it will report back to its creator. And for after that, is judgment. You're gonna have to face God, the the judge of the universe, which is inevitable at some point during your life. And if you chose to reject Jesus during your lifetime, during your time here on earth, till the day of your death, then I have to be the barrier barrier of bad news. But your destination to hell is inevitable. Well, sounds harsh, but it's but it's the truth. I have to be real with y'all. And also, this reincarnation and the next life and purgatory people be preaching about is nothing more than lies and BS for the pits of hell. Like, I'm sorry, but it's a truth. This is these are lies from the pits of hell. You, the the minute you die, that's it. You're either going to heaven or you're going to go to hell. But the thing is, it doesn't need to be like that. You don't need to go to hell. The thing is that Jesus decides to leave heaven and live thirty years of his life here on the earth. This man was a perfect man. He was God in the flesh. He fulfilled six hundred eighteen commandments of the Mosaic law. He was he preached the gospel. He bring he brought good brought the good news, and was telling other people to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And of course, the Pharisees didn't like that. So, of course. Y'all know the story. Judas betrayed Jesus and turned him in. And Jesus was mocked, ridiculed, bruised, whipped. And after that, he was crucified. You know why he did that? Because he loves you. He doesn't want you to suffer eternal punishment in hell. While we do deserve, we deserve to go to hell. We, we deserve, every human being ought to serve, deserves, deserves eternal punishment. Even I deserve it because we all have sinned upon the shore of the glory of God. And it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 20 b For the wish of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life with Jesus Christ. Now, the good news is that Jesus, this, uh, Jesus who was crucified, that died. He died. But the next day, he rose from the dead. He conquered sin, death, and got the victory for us. And now he's up in heaven making intercession on our behalf. And let me tell y'all something. About all the money, all the cars, and all the houses, what good is all of that if you're going to lose your soul, yet you're going to go to hell? What good is enjoying the pleasures of this world, yet it pleasures of sin, yet you're going to have to suffer the consequences of your sin, the eternal consequences of sin, the minute you die, the minute you, you move on to the next life? What shall a man profit if he shall gain the whole world, yet loses his own soul? Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. What is all those the temporary things of this world, yet you're going to lose your soul for it? You can have all the money, all the cars, all the houses. You can have the career, all the girls. You can be a whoremonger or a whore, but none of that, none of that is going to fill that void in your heart. And some of y'all don't want to admit this, but regardless, it's the truth. None of the temporary things and fleeting things in this world cannot satisfy your heart. Nothing. But because the thing is about the human heart is is really it's really complicated. It says in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, the the, the heart is above all deceitful who can understand it. But there's, there's something deep about our hearts. Our hearts are craving something eternal. It's craving something everlasting, something that can last forever. And your, your girlfriend can't give that to you. Your boyfriend can't give that to you. Your money, money, a house, and a car, a job can't give that to you. The only thing that can fill that void in your heart is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes, I said it. A personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Only, only. Jesus can fill that void in your heart. All you gotta do is repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and receive him as your Lord and Savior. Nothing in this world can fill, can fill that void in your heart. The whole point of this video is that money, cars, houses are temporary. But 
God is eternal, and so is love, mercy, and his grace. Don't be religious. Follow Christ.